When sharks and rays are born, many species don't take to the sea immediately. Instead, they prefer staying in safer nursery areas where they can hide and feed in peace. These nursery areas are seen around shallow waters such as estuaries, mangroves and bays where large predators rarely venture. These areas are also loaded with small nutritious prey. Overfishing of juvenile fish severely impacts an already threatened population. Considering their declining numbers, the Indian government has legally protected 18 species of sharks and rays under the Wildlife Protection Act in 2001. Here are four you might spot in a nursery area. Smooth-nosed wedge fishes These fishes are found in shallow coastal areas, including bays and river mounts. Their upper parts are grey or brown with four to five rows of white spots along each side. Above each pectoral fin, there is a dark spot surrounded by several smaller white spots. Clubnose guitar fishes They are found in shallow coastal waters with depth up to 60 meter. They are pale yellow or brown in color and have a pale snout with an unusual club-like tip. Porcupine whipreys these fishes are found around mangrove habitats, sandy reef lagoons, and in shallow coastal waters that are less than 30 meters deep. They have prickly thorns on their oval-shaped body that provide protection against predators. They are usually pale grey in colour, but in some cases can be darker too. Ocelot eagle rays These rays are found at the depths of 60 meters near shores and near coral reefs. They have a beak-shaped snout, which gives them the name Eagle Rays. They also have a characteristic white-spotted pattern on their bodies. All the young ones of these species gather in a particular site and stay there until they grow into adults. Some prefer staying in nursery areas up to four years until they are mature enough to leave. Since you work closely with the ocean, you may have noticed areas where you tend to capture a lot of juveniles. It is best to avoid such areas for fishing since taking out the juveniles can affect an entire population. It would be almost impossible to protect these species without your support and knowledge. Share this video to help us reach as many people as possible.